I worked at the Sparrows Point uh, Mill for 15 years. I worked on the number four uh, galvanizing line in Coated Products Division. Now I am a full-time college student at the University of Baltimore. Well, yeah, going from the steel mill to back to school, um, the most that I ever wrote on a piece of paper was my name at, at the steel mill and the date on uh, check sheets uh, for quality control. And now I'm sitting and I'm writing definitions and I'm writing out notes to reinforce them. And, you know, the most that I ever read when I was down to point, and I've always been an avid reader, but it's always been, you know, novels and stories, and it's never been anything that was, that I had to pay attention to or that I had to retain later. Uh, so it's, it's, it's really very different. So with being a shop steward and with being a little bit more financially secure, I felt that it was my job to take that voluntary layoff, let the junior people work, and my wife was like, take the summer off. You'll never get a chance to take the summer off. Enjoy yourself. You know, your son's getting older. Spend some time with him. Get ride your motorcycle. So I had a good time. And after the 10 weeks was up, they offered another 10 weeks. And my wife was just like, this doesn't look good. She says, you need to have a plan. I had just really felt like that I had evolved into this college student and I never thought that I was going to get called back. I really thought that it was done then and uh, then we got bought out by RG Steel and I had to go back to work. It had lost a lot of the romance uh, that it had once had to being a steel worker. But it was good to be back. It was good to be there. As much as I didn't want to go back, it was nice to be home again. And, uh, you know, we got back into the groove of things, and I still took classes, which were a little bit more difficult while I was working. Uh, but I still took some classes, and uh, things just kept getting worse and worse. The last day, um, we had had a shop steward, or we were going to have a shop steward election um, in like three weeks. So this was my last time being on the plant. I was still a shop steward. And I was running again, but I was running against um, someone else in, in the mill. I made sure that everything was taken care of. I went around to everybody that I could get in contact with. Is there anything that I can take care of for you before I leave? made sure that everybody had my number. I'm right down the street. If you need me, call me. Um, I cleaned out my lockers and shook everybody's hand and I left. And I took a... I am. Um, it was hard. It was hard to walk away. I see myself in the future doing something that I enjoy. Doing something that I'm proud of. It's funny, I... I I was, you know, uniform and steel-toed shoe guy for the longest time. I don't know that I'd want to be suit and tie, but I wouldn't mind being polo shirt and khakis. So I'd like to be somewhere in between upper management and where I came from. I'd like to, uh, and I'd like to be, I'd like to feel like that I'm contributing. I always felt like that I was a part of something bigger at the point. 
that what we made went towards building and creating and making our nation stronger. And I kind of like to have that kind of sense of accomplishment again. And I don't, I don't know where that is, but that's, that's the feeling that I hope to have again.